Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning to you or whatever the time may be where you are. Today is the 7th of March 2023 and the word for today is your body vitalized. Hallelujah. Let's get into the scripture for the word for today. Amen. We'll be taking Romans chapter 8 and verse number 10. Hallelujah. It says, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. As you're listening to me on, on these podcasts, uh, I believe that you have received Jesus Christ as Lord of your life. If you haven't, make sure that you pray the prayer of salvation and you ask Jesus to come into your life. And you say, Lord Jesus, come in my life, be Lord of my life. And ask him to wash you with his blood and accept you as his child. Hallelujah. That is the greatest prayer. But what you need to understand that now when you've received Jesus Christ and you've been born again, it says that your body, your natural body, can be seen as dead because of the sin nature. But the spirit is alive because of righteousness. This is why people age. This is why people even die. Because they are conscious of their sin nature. People become tired and weary because they are conscious of what is wrong, what is bad. Like we looked at yesterday to say that keep your mind on the things which are good, the things of God. When you do that, you are focusing on righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is a gift from God. When you focus on righteousness, you find your spirit man inside is quickened and you receive life. You receive life. You receive life. The more you hear of the word of God, the more your spirit is charged up. And when your spirit is charged up, it also quickens your mortal body. It vitalizes. It brings life and health to your body. You know, the word of God tells us that the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But it says, thanks be unto God that has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So if the sting of death is sin, Once we remove sin, once we remove the consciousness of sin and replace it with Jesus Christ as your righteousness, then what happens? Sin has got no power over you. And then there is no death in you. Your body cannot be weakened. Your body cannot be feeling sickly, cannot be feeling tired. You'll be seeing yourself being strengthened. You'll be feeling your body being quickened, which is what the Word of God says here, that the the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Hallelujah. Let's just have a look at the next verse. Verse number 11, Romans 8, 11 says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, that's the spirit of God, dwells in you, that is the Holy Spirit, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Hallelujah. Look at that. So here the word of God is telling us that the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in us. That is the Holy Spirit. When we have the Holy Spirit in us, He will not just empower us or encourage us or make us feel good, but it says that He will also quicken your mortal body. That word quicken is also means to vitalize, to strengthen. Like the Word of God says that His Word is health to your bones. It is health to all our flesh. Hallelujah. So today, this Word, let it just carry you and bring strength to your body right now and vitalize your body right now. That's why the word of God, even in the next verse, says that we are not debtors to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, we will die. But if we through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, we shall live. So when we allow the Holy Ghost to work in us, you find your body receiving life. No sickness, no death, no dying, no weakness, no tiredness in you. You will run. You don't need to be looking for vitamin tablets to to be strengthened. You just need to have the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the word for you today. You are quickened by the word. Your body is strengthened. All sickness, disease is gone. And you are a victor. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This is the word for today. And we will be back tomorrow with another word. Amen. Have a blessed day.